Hey Milliger fans, I thought you might like to see what I do in my own containers at my house. You may have seen my spring container planting. I think that was like the end of March when I did that. So all of that has been taken out. I didn't, my husband took it out. I'm not going to complain, but I wanted to show you what it looked like now. <laughs> It looked great, uh, but it was time for a change. It's um, you know beginning of June, and this is a great time to be able to freshen up your containers if you did a spring planting, and um, the temperatures are safe, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, one thing to be conscious of when you look at, we even saved this little fern, how cute is that? Um, be conscious of your uh, direction where your container is facing. So where this is, this is facing east, uh, but it's also tucked underneath like the porch. So um, there's a little bit of an overhang here. And so this doesn't get a lot of light. It gets like the early morning light um, till maybe about 10 o'clock. And then um, this is pretty much protected. So this is gonna be a shade combination. Look at me, I'm wearing my name tag still. <laughs> right in my own yard. Um, but this is kind of kind of like my pride and joy. It's a small container, um, but it's tall, okay? So it's about waist height here. Um, so it has a lot of presence. And so I have to make sure that I'm balancing this container properly. Uh, I do want to continue to use this fern, and that's a great thing about changing out your containers. Um, a lot of times you can save one of the plants, um, but I'm probably going to like put it somewhere else in this container. So just want to make sure it's loose here and ready to go. Um, one thing that caught my eye today, well actually I've been thinking about this one for a long time. Um, this is that alocasia, that regal shields. And so uh, we did a video on this and this is one of my favorites because of the beautiful foliage. The underside of the leaves actually is really elegant. I'm just crazy about this veining in the foliage. So this is gonna be my focal point. Again, I gotta have some good height in here to be able to balance the height of the container. Um, and I like to set everything up before I plant. So um, I'll just kind of put it into place and make sure that I like everything before I start planting, just because you might change your mind, you never know. Uh, this is a brand new begonia for me, and it is called Glory Pink. And um, I've actually, I set this one aside like, two weeks ago and I've just it's just been growing in the greenhouse and now it's time to plant it so lots of flowers here beautiful blooms and um, I love this soft pink um, but it also has a little bit of a dark pink so I think one of the most important things of this container is that when people walk by I want to make sure that they can see it from the road so I want to be able to make sure that this has a good presence and that the colors are bright enough that people can see it okay so this I thought maybe could be um, tucked in on the side here is where I think that's going to go. If you are going to take it out of the containers like I am, just be really conscious of the roots. I'll show you um, next when I show you this Rieger begonia. So yellow, of course, shows up really well in a shady situation. This, um, this Rieger begonia is called Blitz and uh, it has a beautiful yellow color to it. When you squeeze it out of the container, um, just want to be gentle. We want to keep these roots intact, okay? A lot of times at the workshops, we'll see people scoring the roots or breaking the roots apart and it's just going to really stress out your plant. Yes, you want to do this with more mature plants or perennials or when you're doing your um, division of your perennials, but annuals are much tender, much more tender, and um, they haven't been, you know, growing as long. So we want to keep their roots intact because uh, they have a, you know, a shorter season. So um, I kind of put this one here and I might change that. Um, and then I want to do some great foliage, some good texture. And so um, this is this arrowhead plant. And I like this one a lot because it is really bright in its color. So I'm going to tuck that behind here. That will tend to grow and get taller. Um, and then this is this fern, it's called Silver Ribbon, and I love this one for its texture. So I use this one uh, quite a bit in containers, um, and I'm gonna have that kind of team up with this one over here, and it's gonna kind of, you can just give them a little shake, and um, this will kind of just spill over the container. Um, another beautiful begonia that I love is this is called Viking Explorer Rose and um, it's a little less aggressive. We always talk about dragon wing. You can't beat it. Dragon wing is a phenomenal plant but when I'm doing something like this where it's a mix of different types of annuals I don't want to have something that's too aggressive that's going to take over the container. So this is the one it's a little bit more gentle. Um, it's called uh, Viking Explorer Rose 
uh, and it's gonna drape over really nice. So I'm just gonna tuck that one in the corner because that is what is gonna spill down on the side. And I love fuchsia. This is uh, my grandpa, Dan Milliger. Fuchsia was one of his favorites. Um, these are hummingbird magnets. So I always plant one somewhere in my yard in honor of him. This one's called Paula Jane. And look at how beautiful those flowers are gonna be. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and again, I'm doing all this different, different shades of pinks. I've got that little pop of yellow and then some of the variegations. So um, I might end up putting that here because again, that is going to spill over. I'm going to end up moving this fern over to this side. And then, um, okay, I'm going to move that over a little bit. Okay, so I do really like this. And uh, this really doesn't do it justice when you see it, um, just in its own little pot like this. But this is a uh, the Tretiscantia or the uh, Wandering Jew. And this is the um, just the green and white variegated version of it. But if you see this in the hanging baskets at Milliger's, it is um, so beautiful and cascading down really, really nice. And so I want that to come right down here, right in the middle. Okay, how does that look? All right, I think it's good. And don't forget your Milliger mix. So I took out, um, you know, we took out the plants. We needed a little bit of soil. I just kind of carry this bag around with me when I'm doing all my containers and giving them like just some good, good refreshing soil. It has a fertilizer in it, but just remember everybody likes to eat. So once these get planted, it's really important to use a really good fertilizer. We love Algo Plus. It has a lot of trace minerals in it that can get really readily absorbed by the um, plants. And so we like to do that uh, once a week is when it's, oh no, I forgot this little guy. Where am I gonna put him? <gasps> okay, so we wanna put a little bit of um, blue in here. So this is the um, Summer Wave uh, Terenia. And I'm gonna tuck that, I think over on this side. I got a lot of ferns going on here. So I'm gonna tuck this over here and then I'm gonna end up putting this fern right over here in the middle so that I've got a little bit of texture there. This is very full. Um, it's hard because it's a smaller container and um, I just, I love all shade plants. And so it's a little tricky for me to contain myself, um, but they will be fine. They will get fertilized. They have good soil. Uh, I'm all for instant gratification when we're talking about um, planting our annual containers. I don't want to wait all summer for them. So very easy to put them into place. Just making sure everyone's got coverage. And you might need to make some little adjustments just to make sure that they're all angled correctly. And everybody's happy. And like I said, this will cascade down. Feel free to drive by and check it out. Um, but that is my container uh, for shade. And some of these, a lot of these can be brought inside. So I'm probably gonna save this Regal Shields because I've been loving that. Um, of course, any of the, the arrowhead, the ferns, all of these can be overwintered and saved. So I'm pretty excited for that too. So enjoy, happy planting, and we'll see you soon.